the latest from the Daily News staff writer Helen Kennedy. A monster oil spill threatening to dwarf the Exxon Valdez disaster spread out of control and started washing ashore at the mouth of the Mississippi River on Louisiana's fragile coastline Thursday night. This is a spill of national significance, Homeland Security Chief Janet Napolitano said at the White House before heading to the Gulf Coast to oversee the crisis response. Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal declared a state of emergency, and President Obama vowed to use every single resource at our disposal to help, including the military. British Petroleum, which will foot the bill, was fine with that, saying, we'll take help from anyone. As the growing 100-mile slick, five times bigger than first thought, rode five-foot waves toward land last night, fishermen rushed to scoop up shrimp and crews spread float barriers around the marshes. Damage to Louisiana's bayous, marshes, and inlets in its $3 billion seafood industry is expected to be profound. Ricky Robin, a ninth-generation fisherman, told WWL-TV, This is worse than an atomic bomb. About 210,000 gallons of oil per day began gushing into the sea when the BP rig caught fire on April 20th and later sank, about 50 miles off Venice, killing 11 roughnecks. Thursday night. A strong fuel smell wafted over New Orleans, holding its world-famous jazz fest. The city is on the brink of recovering from 2005's Hurricane Katrina. There were echoes of the storm and TV weather maps showing the huge oil slick being blown toward shore. Jindal opened shrimp season early and ordered that prisoners be trained to clean oil-slicked seabirds. More than 200 oystermen and shrimpers volunteered their boats to help deploy containment booms, but nothing has stopped the incoming oil. BP will begin drilling a relief well to divert the oil, but it will take three months to complete. By then, the undersea gusher of crude will have nearly doubled the volume of the Exxon Valdez calamity, which ravaged Alaska's Prince William Sound in 1989. The entire Gulf Coast could be in danger. The White House has staged a show of force assembling top officials from the Homeland Security, Coast Guard, Department of the Interior, and the Environmental Protection Agency, announcing an aggressive effort to fight the spill. The weather isn't helping. Thunderstorms and high winds are forecast through Tuesday and are expected to hamper containment efforts. From whales to crabs to songbirds, as many as 400 species in the Gulf of Mexico are vulnerable. Shorebirds are nesting, endangered bluefin tuna are spawning, and sea turtles are migrating to nest. Politically, the spill is likely to gum up efforts to expand offshore drilling. Just as drill baby drill advocates had persuaded Obama to allow limited coastal exploration,